boy, I really like this picture of a fox that I drew. Space Penguin drew the ultimate picture of a cat. Ooh, I like it. Attention art show guests. The art show is about to begin. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh, we need to put our exhibits. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's ah, ah. go. You got your cat all over my fox. You got your fox all over my cat. Hi everybody, I'm Animal Boy and welcome to Amazing Animal News, the show that brings you happy news about animals. It's not every day we get a brand new type of cat, but here we is and here we are. So, let's get into it. On the island of Corsica, off the coast of France, genetic research has suggested that the elusive cat fox is a unique subspecies of the domestic cat. And I know what you're thinking, but Animal Boy, I've heard of cat dogs and catfish and Capitol Hill, but what's a cat fox? Well, I'm glad you asked. The cat fox, or Corsican wildcat, is a small type of wildcat only found on the island of Corsica. It has a long, fluffy tail, giving it the appearance of a fox. You know, if you're, if you're far away and only see its tail. And maybe look through a shoe, it doesn't really look like a fox to me. For a long, long time, most scientists believed the cat fox to be an isolated population of the domestic cat, a feral felix, a wild tom, a violent meowth, if you will. But, according to recent publications in the January 2023 edition of Molecular Ecology Journal, showed evidence that the cat fox is actually a subspecies of the domestic cat. Didn't see that one coming, did ya? This is because the cat fox has a unique genetic signature. And we're not talking like one of those small signatures that doctors just go like, and they prescribe your medicine. No, it's a full-blown Hancock they got in there. The cat fox actually used to be a cryptid, or a sighted animal unknown to science. Think Bigfoot, or Big Tail or your best friend's childhood friend. I know, we've all heard the stories, we've all seen the pit blurry blurry pictures of the friend and how they used to go and play games and they got stuck in the neighbor's yard, but there is no concrete evidence that they exist. They are a myth, they are a fabrication. Stacy is not real! We'll talk about more cryptids later, but first, Mr. Monster and Tazin love cryptids so much, that they are presenting their top 10 list of animals that used to be cryptids, but turned out were just real ones. Hello, one and all. Hey. It is I, Mr. Monster. And I, Tazin. Yeah, we're here to present our top 10 favorite cryptids. Yeah, these are cryptids actually that are real. They're real? They were cryptids, but now people realize that they're real. Oh, that's really cool. So like that crazy uncle yeah. wasn't so crazy after all. Wow. Do you know number 10? I do number 10. What is it? Number 10, the Okapi. The Okapi? The Okapi. Isn't that like the giraffe horse zebra? Yeah, it's like someone Okapied zebras, giraffes, and other animals. Zebras? Zebras. You copied zebras. Clearly your copier is not working properly. Right. Well, we'll call them giraffes and zebras. Yeah, giraffes and zebras. Right. You want to know what number nine is? You know I do. It's the oarfish. The oarfish? Yes, the oarfish. Wow, I thought people thought that was a sea serpent. Or yeah. fish. Maybe it was both. That's how they got the name, right? My mind is blown. That's usual. So number eight. Yes? Santa Claus. Of course he's real. It's just science. I know. Okay, you want to hear a good one? Yeah. Number seven. Okay. The kangaroo. What? Yeah. The deer rabbits that go boingy, boingy, boingy. I know kangaroos. I'm from Tasmania. Oh, yeah. There's tons of kangaroos. I mean, they're, they're fun to party with, but there's millions of them. How could that be a cryptid? Well, imagine you're British. I don't like to do that, but okay. Okay? Yes. Well, in the scientific community, I'm pretty sure if you're British, then what you say is other fact. And so British people saw kangaroos for the first time, and they reported back, and the people thought they were crazy for seeing a deer rabbit. Is that why we still think British people are crazy? That's why. 
That's the true meaning of British people. Okay, so, number six. What's number six? This is a good one. Yeah? The manatee. The manatee? The manatee. You telling me bat manatee was a cryptid? Oh, the huge manatee, yes. Oh, the huge manatee. Indeed. Well, this is what happened. Yeah. Years ago, when men were stuck sailing the seas with nothing but other men. Yes? They would look into the ocean and see manatees. Oh. And they thought they were mermaids. What? Yeah, well, it's pretty insulting to manatees, but yeah. yes, they thought they were mermaids. What? Do we know if the sailors were manatees? No. What if they were manatees? I what? think that's okay then. I guess that's Even okay. Even if it was a dolphin, I think that passes. I guess so, but that's the story. Do I know number five now? Do I? It's a platypus. A platypus? Cryptid the platypus! Cryptid the platypus? Yes, cryptid the platypus! Curse you, cryptid the platypus! Yeah! The platypuses, though, that they, they're everywhere. They're Think also about in Tasmania. the British again! The oh, British! Oh no, why are you continue to put me in they're the visor? They're the key to everything! I don't want to keep thinking about the British! You're gonna have to! I didn't know this was gonna be the part of this show! So the British, they sent back a platypus! Right. And then everyone thought that was wacko! It's like an otter with a duck bill! That's poisonous, sweats milk, and lays eggs. There was a platypus That's controlling them? That's almost as them? weird as what's in your closet. Number four. Yeah. The Komodo dragon. Oh, that's a good one. It is a good one. Can you imagine this? Yeah. Someone tells you on this weird island there's actual, real, living dragons. Well, I would think that person was crazy, but apparently they ain't. No. I was the one who was crazy. You Can were. you believe that? Yes. I'm the crazy one. I can believe that, but anyway... Yeah. The dragons weren't actually big, like, fire-breathing things that flew. They were just giant lizards. No, they just had bad breath. Well, they had venomous breath, yeah. Oh, yeah. Want to know number three? I do. The gorilla. What? Yes, the gorilla. The gorilla? Yeah, are you part gorilla? No, I hate gorillas. Then why do you do the... I was just trying to imitate a gorilla. Ah. Which brings us to number two. What's number two? The giant squid. The giant squid? Yes, the giant squid. That's the most cryptid -y of all living animals. Release the Kraken. Yeah, preferably around Christmas time. It'll get those sweet, sweet views then. For sure. Mm. We know how to play the many, algorithms many. around here. But yeah. they used to be that the Kraken yeah. was photographed, or not photographed, but drawn as an octopus. Oh. So perhaps the Kraken still is a thing, but the giant squid does exist. You telling me there's giant octopuses? Yes. Good God. Well, Why maybe. Not? There are giant squid, though. There was one film just a few years ago. Oh, yeah. I saw that on you, but my tube. Yes. You want to know what number one is? Yes. Yes, it's I like do. someone we know. Who? Someone we care about. No. Space Penguin. What? Yeah, Space Penguin was a cryptid. He was? Yeah, he was green, but apparently he was seen by one guy who was drunk. Does he know this? Yeah. Well, I guess he would. Mm -hmm. That's kind of weird. Yeah, especially for the drunk guy. Well, to be known as the only reason I exist is because I was seen by a drunk guy that's a different color than I actually am. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only reason you exist, my friend. It's a good point. Back to you, animal boy. It's a good point. Thank you, Mr. Monster and Tazin. Like I said earlier, the cat fox used to be a cryptid. The legend states that in the middle of the night, they would sneak up on the goats and the sheeps of Corsican farmers and drink their milk. It's like if Dracula lived in Wisconsin. This was the case until 1929, when French zoologist Louis Louvedin described one in excruciating and painful detail and sent a skull and a coat of one to the British Natural History Museum. I apologize for the accident in advance, and I quote, the way I paraphrase, Ho ho ho, the cat looks like a cat. It smells like a cat. It feels like a dog. But it is the cat. Have its remains. And then the British Natural History Museum was like, Good job, Louis! You get a gold star! Yay! Now give us the remains. Then it went back and forth and back and forth on whether it was a subspecies of the African wildcat or just a feral population of the domestic cat, which is, it is currently now. However, they did not know, they just had to combine the two ideas to form the theory that the cat is a subspecies of the domestic cat. Strangely enough, taxonomy plays a huge role in conservation. 
Hypothetically, imagine if your name was Steve. Hi, Steve. How's the wife? How's the kids? The baby's still eating crayons? Imagine, if you will, all of the other Steves in the world next to you. Now, if you were to die, it would not affect the greater Steve population, since there are millions upon millions of Steves, I think. But what if you spelled your name differently? What if there was a silent G in there somewhere? Maybe between the T and the E. Stagiv, if you will. Now, you are the only Stagiv in existence, and if you were to die, all Stagivs would go extinct. So, conservationists would give you money to stay alive. That's essentially how taxonomy helps conservation. If something is granted subspecies status, it becomes proportionally more valuable in human eyes, or puppet eyes in this case. So funds are used to protect them, when they otherwise wouldn't be if it had just stayed a feral population. This cat is benefiting from this very soon, hopefully. The genetic research is back behind it to make it its own subspecies, and if it becomes one, funds will be granted to protect its habitat, and it will be around for many a year to come. Have a good day, and remember folks, the first live cat fox was not caught until the year 2008. However, you know what has not been caught yet? Stacy! She doesn't exist! Give it up, John! See ya!